Welcome to digitalconstructive.com and in this video we're taking a quick look at a few C42 sanitation systems exam questions. Which public agency issues permits for vacuum trucks? The correct answer is D, the Department of Public Health. How many 4 inch by 4 inch blocks are needed to line a 20 foot seepage pit using 14 blocks per row? The correct answer is C, 840 blocks. How does clay soil affect the surface area of seepage pits? The correct answer is D. Deeper or more pits might need to be installed. So as you can see, there's quite a bit of information that's going to be referenced on the C42 license exam. Those are just a few of the thousands of possible questions that could appear on test day. Obviously, you're going to need to know a lot about planning and estimating, installing septic tanks, installing alternative treatment systems, installing sewer lines, septic system maintenance and repair, safety, California plumbing code, uh, excavation to a certain degree. You definitely want to make sure that you're familiar with all of the possible concepts on the exam and that you've seen uh, a large wealth of the possible test questions. Now, 27% of the exam covers planning and estimating. 26% covers new septic system installation. 10% covers sewer lateral installation and repair, another 10% covers septic system maintenance and repair, and 27% covers safety. Now what we've done is we've created an entire trade study review, everything that you need to know for the C42 license exam, uh, including a summarized cliff note format, a deep dive from A to Z covering exactly what's on the test. It's presented to you in a clearly written way with examples, descriptions, and tons of visual diagrams. Now this can come in the form of either a ebook or physical study guide. You'd get online practice tests, online videos, a mathematics course to ensure that you're prepared for a lot of those math questions that are going to appear on the exam. And then of course an application preparation tutorial and review to ensure that your application is filled out correctly before you send it off to the CSLB. And if you're interested, you can find the C42 crash course in the links below this video. Now, I just wanted to make this video because a lot of you guys were asking about the exam question specifically. We've got another video that goes a lot deeper into the C42 license exam. You're definitely going to want to check that out. It covers the law, uh, the math concepts, what the process looks like, where you take the exam, everything that you need to know. We got another video that goes a lot deeper into the requirements. So California contractor license requirements. Um, how to fill out the certification of work experience correctly, how to uh, explain your experience, who can sign off for you. You got to definitely know that information. You want to check out those two videos. If you found this video helpful, feel free to drop a comment uh, in the uh, below the video. Like and subscribe to the channel. Again, you can find the C42 crash course uh, in the link below this video. I uh, just want to thank you for watching and this is digitalconstructive.com.